what's going on guys, Naf got coming at you with another GTA 5 video. Like I said guys, this is part 2 of the continuing uh, DLC update videos, I guess you want to call it. Uh, the last one I just posted is going to be all the new clothing and weapons. This one here guys is going to be all the new apartments, at least some of the apartments to give you an idea what they look like, the interiors and exteriors. Before we get started guys, if you don't mind, go ahead and throw a like, share, subscribe on the channel if you are new. Always helps, really appreciate it guys to all the new subscribers. Don't forget also to share it on Facebook and Twitter so all your friends can enjoy it guys. Let's go. Alright guys, so what I want to do first is go ahead and purchase up some of the apartments. Uh, so the ones I picked are going to be essentially the most expensive one of the game, the $1.1 million one. Uh, it's at the Eclipse Tower. Essentially the three Eclipse Tower ones, the new ones that they do have, are all the exact same. The only differences between them is just going to be the view when you're looking out of the apartment on where you're looking into the city. Um, and then again, you have eight different options for these interiors, whether from modern, moody, vibrant, sharp, monochrome, seductive, regal, and aqua. Uh, these are going to give you different looks, different tones, they're all the exact same layouts essentially, just going to be slightly different whether it's the chandelier, lighting fixtures are different, whether you have a plant vase on the table, uh, table layout, but all the actual layouts are all going to be the same for those three. Um, the other ones that I wanted to purchase up are going to be two of the regular stilted houses, um, and then the third one that said had a modern interior, or updated interiors, but it's pretty much the exact same as what it was, just more detail with fires, little candles and things going on there. Alright guys, so what I did is I purchased up two of the apartments and let's get into it and I'll show you what they look like. Alright guys, so first one I purchased was one of the ones that everybody's been talking about uh, before the update even came out. I wanted to see what it looked like inside. I've heard that they are pretty much all the exact same layouts for the most part. Uh, this one is 2044 North Conquer Avenue. Uh, it's up in the Vinewood Hills. It is one of the stilted houses. Um, so when you walk in, you'll notice on the left hand side, you got your full kitchen. So of course, your stove, everything, uh, you have a radio in there, you have the juice, so you can drink the juice, the green juice. Um, the views from this one is pretty much overlooking the city, typically as they normally are for most of them. Um, pretty nice living room, you got a dining room, uh, kitchen on the main floor. Right when you walk into the apartment, if you do take a right immediately, you'll start heading towards um, essentially downstairs. Your first flight of stairs down, you'll come into the actual bedroom, your bathroom. Uh, similar layout to what the other 400k apartments are, uh, just slightly different. Once you come back out and continue going all the way downstairs, you'll come into your heist uh, setup room essentially. Other than that guys, pretty simple, nice layouts though for what they have, would have been nice if you could have customized these as well instead of just the penthouse at the Eclipse Towers, but of course Rockstar there is always other updates so who knows what's coming out in the future. I'll let you guys check this one out and the next one I'm going to show you is going to be the house directly beside it, 2045 North Conquer. Alright guys, so that's the first house I just purchased, this new stilted house that Rockstar released. Uh, the next one is directly beside it, 2045 North Conquer Avenue. This one here, uh, again, like I said, all the interiors essentially are pretty much the exact same for the most part, except for colors to be slightly different. This one here, we got a burgundy color, and when you walk in, instead of turning right to go down the stairs, just before the kitchen, there is a staircase that you turn left when you walk in this time. That'll take you downstairs. Uh, same kitchen setup. You do have the wine bottle. You got the green juice. You could continue walking in. You got your living room and dining room on the left-hand side with the view of the whole city as well. Uh, you do have a deck and a balcony on the back end. The only way you can access these uh, is by going around uh, the houses, over the fences. It would be nice if Rockstar had some kind of sliding doors you can walk directly out, but they don't yet. Who knows in the future? Uh, again, same as the other one guys, you walk down the flight of stairs, you'll come to the first uh, landing, we'll take you into the bedroom and bathroom, continue all the way down the flight of stairs, and it'll take you into your heist setup room. Um, now let's get on to the one that I absolutely love, the penthouse, the one where you can customize it uh, completely how you want to do it color-wise. It's not what everybody was hoping for, where you can customize little pieces by taking a couch out, change the color, change the format, or change the layout. It's more of just, you can have eight different options, pick whichever one suits you and whichever one you enjoy most, guys. The one I picked here was the, I believe it's the seductive one, I just love the red, the burgundies, the blacks, just those tones. Um, absolutely amazed at the detail that Rockstar came up with this update. Um, it sucks, I know, for PS3. No, none of this will be effective on PS3 or old gen. It's only on next gen and PC, unfortunately. 
So these ones here, when you walk in, again, like I said, all the interiors for the three um, Eclipse Towers are going to be the same. You have your kitchen on the right-hand side with your juices. You walk in on the left-hand side, you can see me walking in right now is the heist setup rooms. Again, they're all pretty much the same for the most part. Um, same as what the old 400K everybody remembers them being as. Um, when you continue walking through here, guys, you'll take into your living room. But instead of going downstairs in this one, they're going to have staircases that go up. The one that I purchased here is the highest one in the Eclipse Towers, um, so the view is overlooking the city, and like I said, you can see it's slightly just higher up. There's not that big of a difference, though. When you take the staircase going upstairs, you'll come right into your bedroom. Really cool setup, so you can actually you walk into it, you'll walk into your bedroom, you can walk back around, and it takes you right back to the main, uh, main hallway that you came from. There's also, of course, bathroom up there with shower, big, big bathrooms in the uh, penthouse suites, and then, of course, your closet. Other than that, guys, like I said, I'm going to post another couple of videos. Um, I'll show you guys all the new cars that come out. I will show you the yacht. That's one video that I absolutely love. Um, and I'll show you some tips and tricks, too, that a lot of people don't realize you can do, like leaning on banisters and just other little features that Rockstar's come out with. Before I go, guys, like I said, don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the channel if you are new, because it always helps. And let's go for that thousand mark before January 1st, guys. Don't forget, share it on Facebook and Twitter so your friends can enjoy it. Other than that, peace.